roaring fast cars, underworld, cops, and family. The Fast and the Furious franchise for over two decades with minor modifications has pretty much offered us the same content, over-the-top fast car action, with little to none, emotional heft. Paul Walker's untimely death in 2013 was perhaps the most you felt for the franchise. Over the years, the core team has stayed the same even as newer faces joined the race. Beyond Diesel and his crew, Dwayne Johnson, John Cena, Charlize Theron, Helen Mirren, Brie Larson, Gal Gadot, Scott Eastwood, Jason Statham and now Jason Momoa, the series has resorted to using actors as minor script updates. Despite a rather chaotic, silly, and overcrowded plot, Jason Momoa has the most fun with his character. He gives his comical psychotic villain the insanity and anger of a disgruntled employee on a notice period. He just wants to watch the world burn. His jibes and nicknames for characters, John Cena is Uncle Muscle, entertains and amuses the most. While he is vindictive and ruthless, he doesn't seem as menacing as his Joker-esque alter ego would imagine. The plot has little relevance but if you must know, it all begins when Toretto's wisecracking friends are sent on a fake mission to Rome. The team is framed for a massive bomb explosion that turns the agency against them. This moment has the film's most ambitious chase sequence. Drug kingpin Dante is the mastermind, and he is hellbent on making Toretto suffer by depriving him of his family. You will hear the words family and agency after every two lines in the tenth installment. R. The days where a man behind the wheel of a car could make a difference are truly over? Turns out they aren't over as we have another sequel waiting. Director Louis Leterrier offers an orgy of explosions and car chases demanding minimal emotional investment. If you don't mind a cycle of preposterous action sequences loaded with VFX not allowing a moment of calm, Fast X delivers exactly what it promises. Pete Davidson has a fun cameo. You won't blink even for a second. The film offers mindless popcorn entertainment in every scene in abundance. However, there is not a single novelty factor, and watching one film in the series is as good as watching them all. Not that some other successful franchises haven't taken the same route, but FNF series is nearing its end and you want them to take that VRS. How did they let this go on for so long? Indeed, 